two. Nandiyan na tayo on time tayo mga kaibigan and it's 3 o'clock and it's me again it's your 3 o'clock habit and then ang dami naman kagad nagpapabate o oh, pwede bang introduce muna natin ang guest natin <laughs> ladies and gentlemen Miss Faya Hello! <laughs> Miss Faya talaga Faya words back mga kaibigan say hi to our friends ang dami kagad nagpabate Pia para nakakaasar sila <laughs> Hi ganun ba? Hello kumusta kayo? Hello uh, Ramon and Janelyn and Mary Grace. Hello. So, yeah, yan yung, yeah. yan yung mga uh, loyal natin. Monyo Henyo or Monyo Henyo is uh, one of those uh, helping also us in yung mga frontliners. So yung mahilig magbigay ng Ay, pagkain. Wow. Yan po. And then, uh, tawag dito, sabi niya, don't forget to greet ka agad, ano, uh, Ramonyo Henyo. Birthday pala niya! Oh my God! Happy Ramonyo birthday, Henyo, birthday, Ramon! Happy oh, birthday! Happy birthday! Ayan ha. Wait, ulitin daw natin kasi ititape daw niya ang kanyang happy birthday. A uh, five, six, seven, go. Happy birthday, Ramon Eugenio. Belated happy birthday sa inyo. Oh, yeah, may kiss ka na. Abuso ka na dyan. Anyway, mga kaibigan, I'll go straight to the point kasi meron commitment si Miss Pia. So that's why medyo ang aga ko no, for somebody who's always late sa broadcast. Uh, bakit ka may commitment mamaya? Uh, can you tell me about it, Pia? Kasi meron kang bagong uh, project or ganap. Ano yun? Yes. Actually, meron kaming bagong podcast na pageant podcast siya with Carla Lizardo and Marian Guidotti. And they are my um, sisters from Binibining Pilipinas 2014. Bago lang tong podcast na to, we're on our seventh episode. And today, mamayang 4 p.m., right after we finish this live, um, we're going to talk about Pride Month and everything, and pageants also, of course, and everything else in between. So, um, panoorin niyo po yan right after. But first, magchikahan muna tayo. Oo, oh, quarantine chikahan tayo. Mga kaibigan, if you want to follow Pia after this, kasi at least para kang ano, sine, two hours of Pia, Pia works ba? <laughs> Nasa baba nagsuscroll. Queen Two Hand Pride. Yan po. Kuya po, yahin niyo yan kung mabilis ang mata niyo kasi yung mga iba hindi mabilis ang mata, <laughs> hindi makascroll. Pero dyan siya afterwards. Yan po, mga kaibigan. Wait, wait, kwentuhan mo kami about kwentuhan. Uh, anong mga pinapag-usapan niyo doon? Kunyari, nagpipintasan kayo o nanonood kayo ng mga pageants? Ganun ba yun? Um, nang nagpi-feature kami ng mga iba't ibang pageants. So, yung unang episode namin, kami-kami muna, introduction, and then eventually we guested a candidate from Miss Universe Philippines, tapos binibining Pilipinas naman, tapos last week, um, uh, Miss International Queen. This week, well, ngayong Saturday, ngayon, mamaya, ganun ulit kasi Pride Month nga, so we'll still, we'll still be talking about that. Anything, so pageants and life in general, kasi di ba ang mga, hindi, kasi parang malawak naman eh, yung pageants, kumukonek-konek naman sa buhay, kahit pa paano. So, Connected, lalo, connected. Lalo naman ikaw. Kasi ang, ang life lesson ng tao sa'yo is that try and try until maging queen. <laughs> yes. <laughs> hindi ba, aminin natin, nakailan ka until you reach the Miss You? Ang dami rin, di ba? Tatlo. Tatlong sale. 
Sabi ni Bini. Sabi. Yes. Pero hindi ka na, na focus straight. I mean, I mean, I'm I'm sure you've done this interview so many times pero kasi pag interview mo sa ibang tao, siya reformer ka as you know. Hi, I'm yeah. still here. <laughs> pero ito, wala naman nanonood, tayo tayo lang naman, di ba? So, ang ano, tanong dito. Parang, hindi naman siya nakaka... May mga moments na talagang nalungkot ako, na-depress ako. Lalo na yung right after, matalo. Yun yung masakit talaga. Yung uuwi ka nang wala kang crown. Tapos makikita mo yung sarili mo sa harap ng salamin. Tapos makikita mo yung kalat ng gamit mo dahil three months kang nag... Pageant, pagentera ka ng three months. Tapos okay. kailangan mo na sinuligpitin ulit kasi balik ka na sa normal, ra- normal racket life mo. Until mm-hmm. the next competition next year. So, yung masakit is yung first few weeks. Yun yung masakit. Parang pakikipag-break. Yung first few weeks, yun yung pinakamahirap. <laughs> Pero after nung pagnalampasan mo na, kayang-kaya mo na ulit. <laughs> Na-iconnect. Uy, eh. dapat nga, ang, ang ano mo, <laughs> ang kwentong ganun, dapat pang Netflix ka na. Diba? Parang feeling ko, Aliga? ang sarap ikwento ng buhay. Oo, hindi, totoo. Parang ang sarap ikwento ng buhay mo. Kasi nag-model ka before, di ba? Hmm. Tapos nag-artista ka. Ay, Tapos yes. Nag- Alam ba ng mga tao na we worked together before? Ayoko sabihin kasi. Ang tanda ko. Ba- ang bata ka pa noon nung nag-start Ay, ka sa akin. Sorry, sorry. Ganun ba? Pero <laughs> no, 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 no. How old were you then? I was 11 years old at that time. Oh, 11 years old. And that was my very first photo shoot in my whole life ever. And you were my photographer. And I was 20 years old lang noon. Yes. Rule, <laughs> chika. <laughs> 20 years old. Tigilan nyo nga ako. Nung sinunod ko si Pia, naka-establish na po ako. So tigilan nyo na ako. So Hindi. let us not calculate. Oo. <laughs> but I remember I really learned a lot from you then. Kasi siguro hindi mo na masyad. Pero ako as a model and as my first time, very memorable sa akin yun. It was a two-day shoot. And then may mga tinuturo ka sa akin mga posts na sabi mo, sige, side ka. Alam mo, doon ko siguro unang nalaman yung side ng face ko, yung angle. Ng face ko. Oo, doon ko unang nalaman, natutunan. In those two days, I really learned so much. And I'm so happy that hanggang ngayon ay Na- nakaka-work pa rin kita at nag-cross paths pa rin tayo even after years. Oo nga. Alam mo, maraming nagko-comment nga kasi after so many years of working also with you, yung mga tao na na, na, uh, na encounter mo on your way up to being the queen is that, alam mo, meron sila isang message sa'yo. Alam mo ba yun? Ano yun? Ano yun? <laughs> ano yun? Sabi nila, sabi nila, miss you. Miss you? I like, miss I miss you. you. Ganon. <laughs> De, as in miss universe ka na, miss you pa ikaw. <laughs> I thank you naman. Super. <laughs> No, pero you've been busy. I heard talaga, uh, balita ko mas busy ka ngayon compared to before. Totoo ba yun? Um, the thing kasi is when you're a title holder, you are following a schedule that's given to you. So parang ito yung mga pupuntahan mo as queen, ito yung mga advocacy mo, ito yung mga ganaps mo. Pero pagka kasi nagpas ka na ng crown, you have the freedom to do whatever you want, basically. Some okay. girls who... Kaya may mga girls na sinasabi nila na wala or I mean yung mga harsh may mga harsh pa na words na nalaos hindi kasi some girls they want to go back to their normal lives they want to go back to study they want to start a family they want to start business so minsan oh, hindi showbiz oh. it doesn't mean that they're not successful and sa akin naman well because I love doing this you I love being in front yeah, of the camera it. um it became so natural to me. But then this time, I was in control of the projects, the advocacies, and how busy or not busy I want to be. So What you wanted to do. Oh, yeah. at least, nag, ano, but I love, I love the way your life is unfolding. Kumbaga, puro blessings lumalabas ngayon. So, naisip mo ba ito na ganito mangyayari sa'yo, actually? Na plano mo ba ito? O na-imagine mo na ganito? I mean, of course, as a kid, you want for your dreams to come true. Pero meron ding feeling na baka ang taas, baka hindi. Alam mo yon, may ganon. Yung parang nagde-dream ka as a kid na magiging astronaut ako. Pero it's a nice dream, but the odds of it really happening may be small. Ganon. So I was hopeful, but not really expecting. 
Well, at, yeah, pero dumaan ka rin sa frustration kaya siguro oh, medyo nag, nag, ano, ka na, nag-manage ka ng expectations compared yes, to the yes. others. Ah, well, speaking of mga blessings, ang dami mong blessings. Balita ko, HP ka daw ngayon. Ano yun? HP, ano yun? Ha- happy, happy person. Happy person. Oo. Ewan ko, alam mo, may mga bastos, mga, kung ano-anong kabastosan ng mga tao dito. So sabi nila, hey, HP na HP daw si, ano, si, ano, si, si Miss Pia. Sabi ko, oh, happy person naman siya ever since. Bakit ka na happy daw ngayon recently after the announcement? <laughs> may announcement ka ginawa sa isang magazine, di ba? Ah, uh, yes, of course. Kasi, Siyempre, um, pwede ko nang i-share sa world. Sa world talaga. Um, <laughs> ano, yung cover na yon dapat lalabas siya nung March. Pero dahil nga sa nang, nangyayari ngayon sa mundo, sa pandemic, we oh, thought okay. it would be better to just move it a little bit. Kanyan. So, kaya na move din yung announcement na amin. Kailan yun? March? Supposed to be? Yes. Yung cover ng Rattler, dapat March yung lalabas, di ba? Dapat March. Pero it, dapat we, we, you know, they, we decided that it would be better for it to become June na lang. So, giving June? giving time. Para makarelax ang mga tao. Oh, ito yeah. ako sabi sa'yo, may mga Dennis from Paris. Sabi niya, Hi, Dennis. Lang, Dennis. Dennis, kung talaga ka Paris ka, mag-greet ka dito next uh, ulit. Mamaya hintayin ko ipapasok ko. E, dapat in French. Kunya, je t'aime uh, mademoiselle Pia. Ganon oh, dapat. Je t'aime lang din oh. ang alam ko eh. <laughs> ang, ang alam ko yun, oh, ladisyon, yung magkano ba? <laughs> Kasi, ipag nagsashopping kayo na siya sabi, magkano po? <laughs> Anyway, wait, may mga ano. Si uh, May ask Miss Pia to greet my friend po, Marty Limpo. A happy birthday. Oh, so dami may birthday ngayon. Marty okay. Limpo, happy birthday. Sana um, orderin mo at mo na lahat ng gusto mo. Chance mo na to. <laughs> <laughs> Just ko dai. Anyway, wait, going back. So the special person in your life, kaya ka HP or happy person is Jeremy. Si, tama no? Si, anong full name ba niya? Uh, Jeremy John C. Walang, wala nang mas mahaba, hindi ka to ng Pinoy, Maria something, or Ay, ano, or ako. Ko just... din, tinanong ko din oh. sa kanya yan. Wala, um, oh. actually, ako din naman eh, Pia Wurzbach lang, Pia Alonso Wurzbach. Kanya ganun din, Jeremy. Um, ano? Yung mom Jeremy niya, oh. yeah, yung mom niya, Castaneda yung last name. Kasi Kamag-alak ni Manny, Castaneda. Colombian kasi yung mom niya. Tapos ah, yung dad Kaya pala ang guwapo niya. Colombian oh. mami niya. Yes. Eh, teka muna eh, Miss Colombia yung kalaban mo ng Miss Universe, no? <laughs> ano Parang sabi ano? yan? Wala naman. Hindi namin napag-uusapan yon Parang, ano, hindi Parang naman siya fate. issue. Parang oh, fate, ano? Mahilig uh, ka sa Colombia. Uh, Oo. Oh, oh. Kaaway mo, Miss Colombia. Oo, oh, talagang malapit sa puso ang Colombia. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Tapos ang tatay niya is the Brit Kasi Scottish. British siya, di ba? Ah, yes. Scottish mm-hmm. Oh my God, no wonder And then, ang... pero, and then he, he was born in Ako talaga, parang ako na, um, He was born in Venezuela And then He was born in Venezuela But grew up in Scotland And then studied in London And then now lives in New York and then now is oh parang uh, Pilipino na rin dahil i-adapt i- i- na natin oh. siya. <laughs> Ay, okay lang. Nako, huwag kang magsabi ng adapt. Yeah. Pag kasi delikado ka dito, huwag mong dadali Bye. sa Pilipinas. Ay, nagali siya. <laughs> Ay, guwapo. Tapos, oh my God, and I, and I, you know, walang asa lang. Crush ko siya ever since. So, alam, kilala ko siya, stalker ako. So, alam ko nag-workout siya na maaga. So, which means yeah. bagay kayo kasi ikaw rin, workout ng workout. So, nagkakaano talaga kayong dalawa. Kung fati po! Oo, oh, ang dami kong natututunan sa kanya kasi sobrang, he's really into fitness and yung health and well-being. So, parang ang dami kong na, but parang ang, ang sarap nung feeling na meron akong matatanungan ng mga bagay na hindi ko pa alam, tapos may nagtuturo sa akin. And syempre, with business also, isa yun sa mga pinag-aaralan ko ngayon at tinatry ko na gawin ngayon din. Bukod sa, bukod sa pag artista at pag showbiz kailangan kasi siyempre ngayon, lalo na sa panahon ngayon, may backup plan ka dapat, may mga iba ka ring rackets at mga ganap. 
So, so he's they, been helping me with that too. So wait, he's in New York now, right? Na na doon siya na na, stra, na hindi naman na stranded. Doon siya na quarantine during the pandemic, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And in ano in Manhattan or outside Manhattan ang ano niya? Uh, Sama siya nasa New York City mismo. Nasa Alang City, City. City. Nasa nasa mismo. Nasa Manhattan siya o oh. Oh my God! Ang ano-ano naman ng mga... And then, kinikilig yung ibang audience. How did it start? Was it because... I know you guys met in New York, pero it wasn't the first time na nag-meet kayo, di ba? We met in London. Doon kami unang nag-meet. In London na. ba? O oh, then? Pero muntik na kaming mag-meet sa New York nung Miss Universe ako. So, nasa isang event ako na tourism event. Ito yung mga... Um, isa sa mga pinupuntahan ko nung Miss Universe ako. So, may event na Philippine Tourism. Nauna sila, kasi sinabihan sila na, uy, huwag muna kayong umuwi kasi dadating si Miss Universe. Umuwi pa rin sila. So, hindi ko sila nakilala <laughs> nung night na yon. Which is, siguro okay na lang, okay na rin kasi hindi pa meant to be. Diba? Naniniwala ka ba doon? Dapat Oo. may tamang timing ng mga bagay. Totoo yan. Kasi ako, I, I met my partner and I'm so glad I waited this long because may, kung mga sabi nga nila, in God's time, it will happen in God's time. Wag ho tayo magmadali. Parang si Pia, try na na try. In God's time. And you know what? Uh, not because of anything else, not because kaibigan o kachika tayo ever since, but I'm so happy that it never stops. This is what? 2015, you were crowned, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, ano anong pano anong 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 ano na ngayon anong year na 2020 oh. ang ingay mo pare pumapagag pagkapan sa lahat ng ano di ba parang i i'm so happy for you i mean everything is good and then i will always wish the best for you because you the people don't know the amount of effort and work you actually put into uh being yourself i mean or what you've achieved and dami and dami din. which also brings me to the point people are also asking ganun ba talaga kahirap maging maganda that's why the topic of today uh, is actually is being beautiful a curse kasi hindi ka na what every day pagisi mo ganyan ka na ba talaga i woke up like this yeah. to totoo hindi di ba syempre meron mukhang bagong gising kailangan pang magsuklay ng buhok mag <laughs> ma, ma ano magising ng konte at hindi syempre of course not it's not perfect <laughs> but do you do you actually think about it when you wake up in the morning na oh shit makikita ko ng tao or nako ito na naman yung mga ano uh, i have to be the i have to be the miss universe that they actually supposed to know me ay si Dennis nag french na rin o oh, totoo Hi. galing ka ng paris <laughs> ayun hello Dennis you're back oh, je- It's such a beautiful short phrase to learn. Congratulations. Very, okay, hindi ko mabasa yan, so skip na natin. Thank you, Dennis, for saying it in French. <laughs> Pero tiga, <laughs> ayoko na mag, ano, magpaligoy-ligoy kasi pag nawala ka ng 3.45 at kailangan pa ka walang kita, bu- ayoko na si stress ka rin kasi syempre iba naman ang uh, okay point of view doon, ito, ano, ang, ang mindset mo doon. Pero when you, when you, do you have that, thought in your mind. Kunyari, if you have to wake up and go to the, nag-grocery ka ba during the, ano, during normal days? Yes, yes. I love doing groceries. I love doing my errands on my own. Kasi, ako parang therapy sa akin yun eh. Pagka nasa grocery ako, gusto ko ako mamili nung sarili kong butter or <laughs> gatas or kung ano man. Ako, it's so nice to just be there and mamimili ka. Ako, I, I enjoy those activities i even miss driving kasi ngayon really? well may may pandemic di pwedeng magdrive and um well now nowadays usually somebody can drive me to the places i need to go but i miss driving on my own and you know what like i don't even mind being stuck in traffic kasi doon ka nakakapag-isip minsan ay totoo yan so um i i parang I don't want people to think na ay hindi na siya kumikilos lahat online na wala na siyang ginagawa sa sarili niya siguro so many people are doing things for her but there's that's not true that's not how you stay grounded or normal normal uh, well hindi na no, no, para sa is good I, I like what you said sabi mo that's uh that's way that's how to stay grounded Uh, so you still like doing the normal things? Kasi some people, yung mga pag-celebrity na at VIP na, may tiga-utos na sila, may tiga-ano na sila kung anong ginagawa, di ba? Pagka nasa abroad ako, para akong bata, ang saya-saya ko, yung pwede akong 
pumunta kahit saan. Maglaka- Alam mo talaga para kung saan tayo pupunta. Alam mo, yung pasok tayo doon, <laughs> pasok tayo doon. Kasi sobrang, yun yung happiness ko talaga, yung, yung ano, yung I can be myself. So, I, it's harder kasi then if you have a, a switch. Kasi nakakapagod yun, nakakapagod. Totoo, totoo. It's so do much you, Do you have a switch? Pag nasa Pilipinas ka, I mean, I know what you're talking about na switch. Yung tipo bang, there are certain things kasi the Pinoy culture in general. Now, I audience ko kayo, kilala ko kayo, alam ko that when you look at a celebrity, ang taas ng tingin nyo. Ang hindi nyo alam, ang celebrity ay tao rin. Kumakain, umiihi, at kung ano-ano pa. The point is, minsan nape-pressure sila. But do you have a switch? Like, kunyari, when you go to the grocery, uh, nag, do you... Do you, uh, are you harassed by people? Do they expect certain things of you, kunyari? Or do you become yourself na parang bata? Kilala kita para kang bata eh. Hindi ka, <laughs> ano, hindi ka mapakali. Minsan, tuloy-tuloy ka eh. Ganun yung ano mo eh. Um, do you have uh, that switch? Throughout the years, I learned that, kasi dati, gusto ko lagi ako nakaayos. As in, kahit saan. Lagi ako naka-makeup, naka-hair, naka naka full pack outfit kahit saan ako pumunta ngayon oh. siguro medyo kumalma na ako so hindi na ako napapansin agad kasi hindi rin ako masyadong flashy sa ah. aking pananamit or ganyan oh. so but Correct. when it comes to the switch i already know that if i go anywhere i and somebody recognizes me then you know that's that's part of that's only- that, yeah that's part of your life now and Correct. Para sa akin kasi, ano, I have a really hard time saying no to pictures and uh, yung pagka may gustong lumapit na na-feel bad talaga ako. There's only like, mabibilang ko lang siguro sa kamay ko yung times na nag ako and it's usually when I'm with my family tapos sila yung na, na nagiging oh, uncomfortable. Kasi oh, respeto, of course, sa privacy mo. Oh. Pag, oh, kasi ako, ako okay lang pero minsan kasi like yung sister ko, hindi niya masyadong maintindihan na, bakit wala kaming time with you? Amin ka, muna. Ganon. So, yun. So, I have to take care of them. And then, syempre may mga moments na nagmamadali kami, iwan na kami ng aeroplano, or maglalive na. Or, kunyari, minsan, may mga time din na palag, talagang masama yung pakiramdam ko, hindi ko kaya. But I always try to accommodate everyone because the way I see it, Parang iniisip ko, Pia, mag-alala ka pag wala na nagpa-picture sa'yo. Tsaka... Totoo yan. Tsaka number two, yung feeling nila na saglit ka lang nila na encounter, tapos yung few seconds or minutes na yon yun na yung memory nila sa'yo. So, yun na yung dadalin nila na, uy, nakita ko si Pia, uy, na-meet ko si Pia, nakapagpa-picture ako. Parang, minsan nakikita ko nagla-light up talaga yung mga face nila, and... I somehow tell myself na, Pia, parang you have the power to make somebody really happy right now. It's true. And it's isn't true. that a good thing? Parang, no, that is your power. Naman, that, yeah. That, that is a very, uh, very, uh, ano yan, very powerful uh, ano, for, from you. Uh, when you touch people's lives, no matter how small, I'll tell you the truth, I... Uh, I I nagfa-fan nagfa-fan ano nagfa-fan girl rin ako kunyari before pag yung mga artista hindi ko kilala like si Ate V fan fan na fan ako yan ma ma hi Raymond yun hi pa lang sa akin parang oh my god nag-hi ang ngayon kaibigan ko na siya so sa kahit mag-hi siya sa akin tinatawag ko na siya hi girl ganun na ako pero hmm. it, hindi nawawala I understand where you come and what I'm amazed and again I will I will reiterate to the audience oh English daw reiterate daw is that natatawa ako sa iyo because some people yung alam mo yung kunyari nag-iincognito kunyari this guy sa ko para hindi ako makilala Hmm. Pero ang suot nila, tama ka, nagpa-flashy-flashy sila. Kung sabi, ay, artista siguro yan kasi naka-shades. Kasi lalo yeah. ka nag-shades indoor, lalo, lalo ka naman makikilala, ganun tipo, di ba? So maganda. Oh. And also, your, your, ano, about your understanding that it changes people just to say hi to you, thank you for that. Because a lot of artistas don't realize it. That little second that you touch their life, is their lives is an inspiration for them. Yeah. So Uh-oh. so whether or not my interview ka nang so many times, no, ang dami kong questions pa yeah. next question. Teka muna. It, continue, right. continue, continue. And it's not to say naman na hindi kami nagkakaroon ng mga days na bad trip, malungkot, uh, may pinagdadaanan. 
uh, masakit ang ulo, masakit ang tiyan, gutom, diba? minsan gutom. May totoo yung hungry, ah. yung, yung naabutan mo lang na tapos kailangan lang niyang kumain. Ako kasi, I get hungry. So, so minsan, oh. pag gutom na gutom na ako, kailangan, uy, pakainin nyo na yan. Alam mo yung ganon. Mas lungit na yan. The people close to me know that pagka hungry ako. But for other people, I guess, um, I, I, celebrities can be very accommodating, but I guess also they, parang, let's remind people that we're also human at the same time. So, I guess kailangan lang ng understanding on both sides. Fans or supporters need to understand that just because you see the person on the screen all the time doesn't mean that yun parang hindi sila nagkakaroon ng bad days. Pero, oh, as the artista job. naman, also consider that this person, well, probably won't see you again. And what kind of impression do you want to leave behind? So, ito, ba, ito ba ang answers mo rito? Diretsa eh, ito, kaibigan ka tayo, I want them to know who you are. Ito, ito ba ang questions, question and answer portion natin dito? Did you really answer, did, do you answer like this normally? Because, or nahasa ka because of, you know, dealing with people almost every day of your life? Kasi wala kang pahinga since 2000. Wala, wala kang pahinga. You've been answering questions since what? How many years na? I guess it also helps na madaldal lang talaga din akong tao sa totoong buhay. It's natural for you. Mahilig akong magkwento at minsan tuloy-tuloy ako. <laughs> so kailangan okay mo lang yun. stop. Oh, kailangan mo ko i-stop. Oh. Oh, oh, yun ang cue ko. Kunyari, gusto kita i-stop because we have to uh, uh, say something to Joshua oh. Formentera. He's in uh, Copenhagen right now. Please say hi to Pia. Tell her, Joshua, founder of Positive Action Foundation, beneficiary ng Mac AIDS in the Philippines mm-hmm. and Miss Universe Fundraising. Ah, oh. okay. Si Joshua kasi is one of those uh, advoc- advocates sa uh, HIV and ano yan. Thank you, Joshua, also for your help. Oh, imagine as far as Copenhagen, anong oras kaya doon? Gising ka pa. <laughs> ganun yun. Oh, ganun you, yun ba? Di ba? I mean, these people, when I, when they know, ano. Ay, ito yung maganda question from, uh, from Mary Grace uh, Ramos. Did you experience rejection in life po. Not as a beauty contestant, I'm sure, but in life. Oh, Kasi alam na natin, oh, alam na natin that, you know, before you became Miss Universe, and dami mong failures in, in the pageantry world. But mm-hmm. as a person in life, mga failures mo, they are, when you're growing up, may mga frustrations ka ba? Like, kunyari, hindi mo nakuha yung uh, dream mo at a certain point. Mm-hmm. Or somebody put you down in showbiz kasi nag-artista ka rin eh. Um, siyempre, sa pagkabata ko pa lang, meron ng mga signs of rejections. I think rejection kasi it can happen in a lot of ways. Pwedeng yung nabubuli ka, hindi ka natatanggap dahil sa itsura mo, or parang feeling mo hindi ka nag-fit in, hindi ka belong, or pagdating naman sa trabaho, baka nadidiscriminate ka, or, or parang hindi lang para sa yun, hindi mo nakuha, rejection din yun. So there's... Okay. I think it happens to everyone naman. Sa akin, growing up in Cagayan de Oro City, and particularly I I mean. that, Cagayan de Oro, yeah, uh, particularly that time and when I was a student, parang okay. walang ibang half German, half Filipina sa class ko, at, the, at least in my class or in my batch. <laughs> um, so, parang, syempre, as a kid, nabubuli ka, tapos, tsaka alam mo, parang, nabubuli ka rin pala kahit artista ka na. In really? school. Bakit? Yeah, kasi nag, nag, nag ano din ako eh, nag, nor, um, nag, nag, nag-aaral pa rin ako habang nung nag-artista ako. And I thought that, well, we think na artista, VIP treatment yan, aalagaan yan, walang mangyayari dyan. But sometimes, hindi rin ganon. Parang pwede ka pang actually maging target din. Kasi nga, mga pagtitripan ka or ganyan. So, Nangyayari talaga siya kahit kanino. Even when you think that that person has it good already and probably is not going through anything, meron mga struggles pa rin. Talaga. So, tuloy-tuloy pa rin ng ano mo, pero grabe, ah, hanggang na ng resilience mo, tuloy-tuloy pa rin yun. Laban lang ako, laban lang, walang ano. Pero were you, sorry to ask, but straightforward, were you an ugly uh, young person before? I mean, some people <laughs> was... grow from, you know, ugly duckling to a beautiful swan. Di ba? May makwento-kwento tayo na ang pangit yan ng araw. Anong nangyari? Bakit nagpagawa ba yan? Bakit ang ganda-ganda? I mean, 
people do develop late in life sometimes. So were you were you part of that the ugly duckling syndrome before or maganda ka na as is pala? No, no I, I, I had I had a few faces, few ha, huh? not just one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> For yeah. example, alam ang hindi alam ng tao, hindi ho parating steam si Miss Pia because yeah, I started mm-hmm. shooting you, you were a bit chubby that time, di ba? Mm-hmm. Alam ko, binukan pa yung face mo noon and you had this little insecurity about, uh, I know that's the reason why I was saying about your face. No, don't worry, your face may thin side, may 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 thin side, may chubby side ang mukha ng tao. So it, don't worry. It'll, and and I knew you were too, you were young. So sabi ko, papayat ka girl. Hindi hindi forever yung pagkataba ng tao. It's called baby mm-hmm. fat. Kaya nga up at that time. Eh. So mm-hmm. what 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 were your insecurities basically? Um there was a lot I think um parang yung growing up I think yung nandun pa ako sa Cagayan de Oro was being yung Tisay tapos parang nag-iisa lang ako tapos um no na sa showbiz naman ako marunong ako coming from Cagayan de Oro City ang galing kong magbisaya at marunong ako magbisaya noon. And then, nung nalipat ako dito sa Manila, parang, and nung nag-artista ako, naririnig nila yung Bisaya accent ko. Sa, oh, hindi naririnig ko nila. So, parang sabi naman sa akin, pagdating ko dito, uh, uy, ano yun, mag-practice ka ng Tagalog, pag-aralan mo yan, uh, kung gusto mo maging artista, kailangan um, parang flexible ka at kaya mo lahat. So, ganun naman ang ginawa ko. So, nag parang anywhere naman may something, ako, growing up, siyempre, siyempre yung buho ko nun, ang gulo-gulo, <laughs> tapos yung ngipin ko nun, di pa, nag-braces ako, tapos ngayon, may veneers ako, pero, tapos yung weight mo rin. Y- yung weight, ha, like, you can look so different, like, 5 pounds, 10 pounds, you know, 15 pounds, uh-huh. you can look so different. sa a- Ako, sa akin, ganun, nag-iba talaga oh, yung lucky yung lucky ko. So, Um, ayun, may mga faces, mga, hindi lang isa. <laughs> hindi lang isa. Pero uh, before I put in another viewer natin from uh, from out of the country, may question na maganda. Meron na ba nagsabing hindi ka naman maganda, pangit ka naman talaga? Oo Were naman, ever... lagi. <laughs> Again? Okay. Oh. Eh, Ipatong mo sa kanila yung crown mo at yung trophy mo, no? Ano hmm. pa, pangit? <laughs> There yeah, seriously when when did this happen did every anybody actually tell you that to your face? Mm, to my face parang hindi naman pero online yan mala. Ano okay. yun may mga ganun pa rin online. Kasi um the way I see it. Ah. Baka iba yung ay baka iba yung bet nila. Minsan ibang ibang ano eh kunya candidate ka ikaw si Philippines tas may mga masasabi sa yo. Sometimes I try to think oh I don't think this is a personal really attack on me. Maybe you just really love your candidate and that's why Or, na ay, parang totally. naging ganon. So, para, tsaka parang siguro para sa ibang tao, hindi... Well, beauty is subjective naman kasi, di ba? Wala naman talagang formula na ito yung maganda. Siyempre lahat tayo sa may kanyang taste. Totoo yan. Yeah. So, I don't really get offended when somebody says that I'm like ugly or fat. I get more offended when somebody says that masama ugali, yun, yun yung mas, mas masakit. Kasi, hindi mo mababago yun eh. <laughs> Pagka na, <laughs> di ba? <laughs> Uy, maganda yan. Maganda yan sa ano, sagot sa, sa beauty ko. Uh, money, money or beauty? Ay, ugali. Kasi ang ugali, mahirap baguhin. At yung beauty, pwede na tayong bumili ng kung ano-ano para pampaganda, di ba? <laughs> Wait, I will have to say hi to these people. Shakira Salcedo, kilala ka daw yata nito. Hi, Pia. Mm. Uh, Shakira, I'm watching from Baltimore, Maryland. Oy, gising oh, pa kayo? Hello. Hi, Shakira. Ever thought Ever of thought... moving to the States? Oh, um, actually, yes. I did oh. consider that many times. Okay. Um, pero after no Miss Universe, nagpasa ko ng crown, I stayed here kasi ang dami kong mga contractual obligations na kailangan kailangan <laughs> dito ako sa mga shoots, endorsements, kanyan. And it just was easier. 
Tsaka sayang naman, ang daming work. I want to make the most out of it, di ba? That's true. And with, the, with today's technology, uh, pwede, just ko, kung sabihin lang naman ni Jeremy, Jer, uh, uh, come over, you know, ikaw naman, sure, marami naman budget, di ba? Bakit hindi? Kasi nagtatrabaho ka, di ba? Ganun ang ano natin. But uh, may plano ba kayo? Uh, kasi they're slowly opening up the airports. I heard that even by July 1st, uh, some of the local international airports will be open na rin daw. Wala ka pang plano? I, I know you have commitments. I'm just asking, wala pa ba kayong plano magkita? Ang tagal nyo lang hindi nagkikita ni, ni, ni Boy Fee. Meron, oh, syempre. Um, but we're considering yung um, travel restrictions. So right now, um, our plan is to see each other in the UK para sakto makita na rin namin yung families namin. Family ko at nandun din yung family niya. And it's just easier. And um, he is also British, so mas madali sa kanya. And I am a dual, I have a German passport too, so mas mad- So kasi ganun, ngayon kailangan pa plano mo ng maigi kasi baka hindi ka makapasok eh, di ba? Or so, hindi ka makabalik sa Pilipinas. Yun, yung pa. So, um, pinaplano namin ng maigi. Although, um, dapat siya yung pupunta dito eh. Siya na lang pupunta yung dito. Papagluto ko siya ng pansit. <laughs> Ang pangit. <laughs> ano? <laughs> Ayun. So, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, I wanna, I hope it's fine. I wanna say it's final, but with what's going on now, nothing it's is final. Work. Yeah. It's true. But you know, you've learned also in life. Oh, hi, Pilar Mateo. Saying hi, Pilar Hello, Mateo. Hi, Pilar Mateo. <laughs> but it's true. I like what you're saying. I love you talaga. Pag ganitong kwentuhan natin. Kasi mga kaibigan, pag nagpipiktorial kami ni Pia, like with one of the products we did or endorsements she did before, mas matagal yung kwentuhan namin sa totoong Victoria. Totoo lang po yun. Minsan, pinipigil na kami ni Rika. <laughs> Hoy, huwag kayong magkwentuhan. Ilayo nyo yung dalawang yan kung hindi tayo mas- matatapos sa kwentuhan more than the pictorial kasi. At laging Totoo may yan, pagkain. Ay, oo. Oh, pag may pagkain. Eh, gago pa naman ako. Nagluluto pa naman ako. And kung ano-anong ginagawa ko sa... Ay, hindi mo pala na-taste yung ano, bacon cupcake ko. Pag nakita nga tayo, bibigay ko yung bacon cupcake. Meron akong na-taste na may bacon, pero cupcake pa yon. May ginawa ka nung last time na nag-shoot tayo sa studio mo. Every day naman, uh, lagi namang may pagkain lumalabas pag magkasama tayo. Pero, Ay, nako, pagkatapos itong quarantine na to, ang dami ko natuto, pwede na ako magbigay sa ng iba pang potahe. So, yan yes, yung mga okay. ano natin dyan. Okay, we'll go back to the basic questions eh, kasi marami nagtatanong. Ayan na yung mga from out of the country. Alam ko, nagtsaga kayong hintayin si Miss Pia. Uh, Ay, meron from, from Germany. Uh, hmm. Allo, Frau uh, Pia Grube und Deutschland. Ay, from Germany. Greetings from Germany, sabi niya. Oy, marunong! Oy, oh, wala, marunong ka! <laughs> Binasa ko lang yun. Tama ba yung sinabi ko? <laughs> uh, Groot, 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 ah, actually, nababash din ako dito kasi mali-mali din yung pronunciation ko ng German. Groot, eh? Groot, eh? Ausdeutschland. Mali na, basta alam na natin na ipising. Kasi pag binasa naman natin, naititian natin, eh. Oo. Oh, okay. uh, and then another person, si Jenny. Uh, I appreciate Pia because she is so down to earth, candid, and, and relatable. Totoo po yan, mga Her sincerity is the reason why it is effortless for her to touch people's lives and become an inspiration. Yeah, mm-hmm. hindi ho tayo nagro-roasting. Oh, pero buti na yun, may nagsasabi. Do you know that sometimes the artistas uh, need also, um, mga kaibigan, sabi ko itong totoo, and Pia is also part of it. You need to tell them also what they do to us because sometimes uh, it becomes monotonous na sometimes sa ibang tao may pictorial kayo tapos may fans day or meet and greet sometimes nakakalimutan yun na how important those little seconds that you give us maganda yan mga kibiyan. keep on encouraging Miss Pia na ano natin yung mga uh, mga nararamdaman natin and daming comments one as far as uh, Mindanao marami siya. it's 9.30am daw dito sa Copenhagen sabi ni Joshua Oi, hello I work Joshua up- Oh, I woke up early just to watch your show. Why? 9.30 na! Dapat kising ka na ng 7. <laughs> <laughs> Baka night owl siya. Hindi. Pokpok yan si Joshua. Kaibigan ko yan actually. Ay, kaibigan yan mo. Ng... <laughs> Pero yan, one of the most hardworking ad- ad- advocates na ano na natin dito. Okay. Questions. One of the questions na maganda dito is this. If you found yourself to be the judge of the... Oh, ito na. Q&A na tayo. Mm-hmm. Okay, 
Q&A na po mga kaibigan for Ms. Pia Wurzbach. Your question, madam, is this. If you were the judge of this year's Miss Universe and you were picked by the candidate to ask the question, when you looked at the candidate, the candidate is the young Pia Wurzbach. What question would you ask Miss Pia Wurzbach, the candidate on stage? Go. Oh, I, question. Siguro, I would ask her, why do you want to win? Why do you want to win? Um, and I know, siguro, this is a question that we ask a lot of the queens, uh, a lot of laging natatanong sa mga pageants. Pero, I mean, if you only have one minute to speak to an audience, you want to explain why or you convince them why you deserve to win, right? So, ang itatanong right. ko sa sarili ko, ikaw, young Pia, like, why? Bakit ito? What do you want? Why do you want to win? Kasi, pwede namang, if I want to be an influence, parang marami namang ibang ways, di ba? Bakit sa paraan ng beauty pageant? Siguro yun yung itatanong ko sa, sa kanya. Oh. Right. Thank you, Judge Pia, for asking. Ay, ano. <laughs> Pero ikaw ang judge, ha? Hindi, ano. Ako yung oh, judge. Mrs. Oh. Ikaw ang judge. Rika from Mississippi. It's 2.38 a.m. Ay, Rika, I have good news because uh, I will have a midnight show at uh, uh, by July. And I will promise if we can get Pia on her free schedules, you can watch her on a regular time sa inyo. So, mm. abangan nyo yan. Magkakaroon tayo ng mga bagong shows dyan. So anyway, the next question is, I from our ano, from our uh, friends in the LGBT. First yes. question is, anong pageant advice mo sa amin mga regular bading candidates na ayaw namin manalo kasi mawawala ang mga consolation prizes namin? <laughs> Nakakaasa na question to, ha? Ay, parang kasi ano daw, na? Oo, oh, tama, tama. Kasi may mga pageants na ay, yung maraming no-uwing consolation prizes, right? Oo, oh, ay, kasi no, ay, ang binabasa ko, binabasa ko. Kasi ang, ano, ang, ang sabi niya, pag nanalo daw siya, wala, hindi na daw siya pwede mag-join next year kasi panalo na siya. So, mm. gusto, ang binibig sila, kahit first runner-up lang, please, wag lang humanalo. Ano ang advice mo? <laughs> Parang baliktad tong question na ito. Diba ang advice? Ano manalo? Oh, in general na lang, sa mga baklang nanonood sa atin ngayon, what would you share? Pero totoo to ha, what would you share? Kasi they want to hear P.S. advice on how to be, uh, you know, a queen like you. Okay, how mga to bading, win ha? Ha? or how to lose? Sa so, tingin ko, para maging runner-up ka, galingan mo sa lahat ng portion except dun sa last. Kung magpipilian na ng winner. Ay, paano yun? Ibig sabihin sa Q&A, dapat hindi siya gagaling? Oh, di ba? So, gagalingan mo lahat, patapos sa Q&A, parang ibigay mo na. Para maging, ibigay mo na sa iba, para maging run Para hindi ka. ikaw ang manalo. Eh, oh. eh, pero ang sinasabi nga nito mga to, favorite nila ang Q&A. Alam mo ba, pinapractice nila lahat ng Q&A ng mga pageant. So, minememorize nila yan. Oh my God, Drew Aliliano is watching. Nasistress ako. Oh, hi, yeah, kasi hi. mga kasi ang mga artista nanonood rin sa atin pati si na Ate V, si nga mga ganyan tipo anyway, oh my god from Amsterdam also Amsterdam ba to? Si, ah, Switzerland ito pala, from Switzerland hindi, so ano mga categories diba? bathing suit, talent portion mm-hmm. best Sibling in gown, gown. Um, and then Q&A usually, usually tatlo lang um, swimsuit, gown, tapos Q&A, Q&A. Mm. pero malakas ang point sa Q&A di ba? May, parang doon nagkakaalaman kung sinong magiging winner. Ibabagsak ko na lang yung, yung bathing suit. Kasi o mas kaya, may... may... O kaya sabihin mo na lang, uh, copy-paste po doon sagot ni candidate number two. Thank you. <laughs> Alis ka. Siguradong talo ka. At least, ano? <laughs> At least mananalo ka. Ang gano'n na lang. Just cry. Ang mga, ang mga ano dito, mga comments and questions. Okay, I like this. May just some serious uh, question. Uh, Miss Pia, ang tanong nila, this is from a student. Sabi niya, what makes you cry? Ah, uh, pag, uh, 
a lot of things I uh, make me cry actually like I not, not a lot of people know that I really wear my heart on my sleeve and then I napaka emotional kung tao at uh, yung mga nararamdaman ng mga tao sa kapaligiran ko na absorb ko talaga hindi ko alam if is that actually hanggang ngayon hindi ko alam is that part of being an artista where yes you are an empath ka, yeah so you you take in you absorb, you absorb. Yes. yeah you absorb yes. so um I get a, I get emotional about everything. But what makes me cry is, marami kahit mm, may mapanood lang ako na nakakaiyak na commercial, pwede yun, that that can make me cry. Pwede Or pagka may something na unfair na nangyayari, tapos wala akong magawa, or feeling ko, I'm not in the position of power to make a change, that really frustrates me. And um, I like that. Yeah, so if you're not in a position of power and it frustrates you, ang ganda ng ano mo. Yeah, if I'm if Kaya I'm not in the position of change, yung kunyari um hindi naman ako yung masusunod kahit na naman anong sabihin ko, wala mangyayari. So, naaano ko na parang eh gusto ko i eh, ganito eh, gusto parang ko, okay. Okay, eh. Yeah, gusto. Yeah. Mm-mm. Understand where you're coming from. All right, question from Switzerland. O di ba? Ito yung mga pwede ko ipapost kasi ito yung mga questions sa paper hindi ko masabi pangalan. Question. Sabi ni Marcos, may edge ba yung mga contestants na may advocacy? Kasi parati siya sabi daw may advocacy dapat. Yeah. Importante ba yun sa authenticity para manalo? Or it really doesn't matter? Good question, Marcos. Um, mga fans yan. The years that I competed, it was never um, a requirement for you to have an advocacy. It's just better uh-huh. if you do. Kasi, syempre, pag tinanong ka, bakit ka nandito, anong nire-represent mo, anong gusto mong i-improve, meron kang masishare. Syempre, mas maganda kung meron kang purpose sa pagsali mo. Pero, uh, meron din namang girls, in reality, let's be honest, meron din mga girls na wala. Or they find out what they want to do while they're competing. And I think that's also okay din naman yun. I don't want to say na kung wala kang advocacy, huwag ka nang sumali. Hindi, hindi rin naman. Kasi may mga girls na they realize what they want to work on or what they want to do habang nandun sila at na-expose sila dun sa mga ibang girls na meron na mga nasimulan at nagawa na. So I can't say it's an advantage. Oh, well, it is better if you do, but not necessarily a requirement. I'm just being practical. Yeah. Kasi, syempre better kung meron. Pero kung rules at rules lang din ang pag-uusapan natin, hindi naman po siya nakasulat na requirement. Ako naman may question. Curious ako dito. Uh, Minimemorize ba talaga ng mga contestants ang mga answers? Kasi minsan nainis ako, sobrang memorize na nakakaasar na pakinggan eh. Um, for, in my experience, in Binibining Pilipinas, wala po kaming idea kung ano po yung mga questions. All the years okay. that I joined, hindi po binibigay sa amin yung mga tanong. At yung sa Miss uh, Universe yeah. po, wala din. Um, so, surprise talaga lagi yung questions. Hindi mo alam. Hindi mo alam. Uh, eh, parang Olympics of Q&A. Pag Q&A, wala akong pakialam. Talagang drop everything. Q&A na tayo. Wala na akong pakialam kung sino, kung anong gagawin mo. Okay. Malapit na ang time check natin. Tinime check na ako ng mga aking mga producers. And this is fast talk, fast questions. Okay. Uh, fast answers. Your, ano, fast qu- answers na lang para sa question. Number one, bakla ka ba magmahal? Oo. Ano <laughs> 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 gusto ko sabihin? Pwede bang, pwede bang i-enumerate niya? Kasi, uh, oo. Uh, ako oh. kailangan natin ng part two. Okay, next question. Mabilis. Hindi. <laughs> Pati ako, gusto ko tanda yung bakit eh. Uh, hindi ka ba, <laughs> hindi ka ba nalilito, sa, nalilito sa LGBTQIA++? Hindi. <laughs> sa kasi dam- actually, um, pinag-aralan ko na yan at um, natutuwa naman akong mag-explain din sa mga ibang tao pagka nagtatanong sila. And it's, alam nyo guys, ang daming online na mga graphic, infographics tungkol dyan ah. that will make you understand it really easy na parang, Oh, okay. ito si L, G, B, T, Q, I, A, A, plus, plus, plus. Alam mo yun, para ma-explain naman. So don't get Ay, overwhelmed by it. It's so easy to understand, actually. 
True. Ayan ha pa ng message. Sorry, hmm. Donny, Antiga from LA. Tsaka na kita iya, ano. Miss Pia will go in a few minutes. So I have to make this fast. Number two, and the next question. Pag sumali, uh, do you like trans women and uh, uh, joining the Miss Universe? Uh, like what happened? Or meron sila? Kasi I, I, well, I saw your interview with the the other trans woman. Sabi niya, eh, meron naman sariling contest talaga mga trans women. Feeling Actually, niya, sa podcast si namin nangyari yun. Yung kwintuhan. Podcast ba yun? Yes, oh, yun ba yung pinatood ko? Namin. Ba yun? Yes, oh, yun yun. Oh, I love it. I, thank you. Fa- I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I love oh, it. Hindi you. ko nakikwento. Oh, after this, bumunta kayo doon sa kanyang podcast. Na, question, next question. If money is not a problem, anong una mong bibilin o anong una mong gagawin ngayon? Um, to answer the previous question, yes, I am in favor okay. of trans women joining uh, pageants like Miss Universe. Um, ano yung question mo for this one? Sorry? For this one. Uh, second to the last question. If money is not a problem, ano ang bibilin mo or ano una mong gagawin ngayon? Kung hindi. Uh, siguro hmm. magtatayo ko ng isang malupit na company na business na multi, multi-million dollar business. Uh, yun. Yun ang pag-iisip ako. Kung hindi issue yung money, gusto ko business talaga. Ah. Ang sagot nila, ang sagot ko dyan, uh, your answer is, I will buy a jet, a private plane, para makapunta ako New York para mabisita ko ang jowa ko. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Uy, I Thank love you. this last question. I love this last question. Oh my God. Pati ako na ano dito. What did you give up to be where you are now? Oy. Ay, ganda pang pageant yung mga ganyan na tanong. Ang bagsak to. Oo, okay. okay, parang okay. pinagsak agad ang microphone. Are you ready for your last question? Yes. What yes. did you give up in order to be where you are right now? You have family, you have a beautiful career, you have a love life, uh, and you and people love you. What did you give up to have everything what you have now? I gave up being scared. I gave up my fears. I gave up my insecurities, everything that's holding me back. I told myself one day that if I wanted a better future for myself and make an impact to the world, I need to let go of these things that are weighing me down so I can be a better person and have better purpose for other people. And that is why... <laughs> so that's... Ayun, para, uh, parang inano eh, no? ginawa ko talaga ang Q&A ng pageant. Pero yun talaga sa akin. Let go I'm sorry. of everything that's holding you back. Kailangan i-bell kita. Ang galing-galing. <laughs> Leche ka. Hindi, ho namin pre- hindi namin pre-practice to. Iniwan ko yung pinakamahirap na questions. Gusto ko sana matameme si Pispia in front of you. Pero hindi tama yung sinabi niya. When you let go of your fears, everything opens up in, in different ways. In so many serials. Thank you, Miss Pia. I will have to let you go. Mga kaibigan, would you like to say uh, your uh, last few words before you say goodbye to us? Uh, thank you so much. Sobrang nag-enjoy ako sa chikahan natin. Um, it's really always, and I mean this honestly, hindi dahil may mga nanonood, but it's always a pleasure to see you and talk to you. I always have a lot of fun. Maraming salamat. And um, sana nag-enjoy din kayo guys sa so, mga nanonood ngayon. Yeah. Enjoy sila. In fact, bitin na bitin sila. Minumura na nila ako sa isang uh, page dito. Bakit Sorry. ang taang ko? Ang... Mga kaibigan, okay lang yan. Para pag natapos na ni Pia lahat ng kanyang requirements, pwede na siyang bumalik sa atin. So, yan mo siya. Yeah. Papainyayin natin siya ng konti. Explain so, ko lang say... din. Um, hindi ko kasi ma-cancel yung next na podcast. Medyo important yun. Uh, 4 p.m. magla-live kami. And Pride Month kasi, and alam nyo naman, this is one of my advocacies is so um, I have to do my duties as a former Miss Universe and help <laughs> and spread love. You have to do your duty. You know what? I'll tell you the truth. What you're doing is beyond your crown already. What you're doing is your duty as a human being. Thank you, Miss Pia, for being good to everybody. Thank I on, on behalf of everybody who's watching, who woke up on their time zones na hindi sila normally nagigising, I would say thank you. And I love your the way you impart your knowledge and your feelings and your candidness and your pag down to earth to the viewers, especially the students who are watching. Maraming, uh, maraming tayong students na ano. Thank you very much. I will say goodbye to you, but the audience, we will still be, I will still be here. I'll be, I'll be closing in about five minutes. Miss Pia, I wait. Walang asaran pala. Itum na pala. Uh, i- i- lalagay ko sa screen. Ayan. Uh, Queen Chu, uh, Queen Chu, uh, Queen Tuhan uh, Pride. 
Punta yeah. ko kayo dito sa Facebook doon ho magsi-streaming si Pia. So after this, nako patay ako pag umalis ka, mawawala audience ko. Sumunod na kayo sa kanya. Pia sige go. Manunod ako para at least pag na-end ko nandoon ako sa iyo. Love Thank you. you so much. Say goodbye. Love you. Thank you guys. Bye. Thank you. Mwah. I love you. Ang galing-galing mo. Okay, mga kaibigan. Uh, I had to take Pia out because she's preparing for her next show. So tayo naman, uh, a few, uh, para, parang nasa misa, no? a few announcements uh, for those who are still with me. Alam ko, lilipat kayo kay Pia because masaya yung kwentuhan nila doon and mga mag, magpipintasan sila mga beauty queens doon. Kaya maganda rin yung papanood din yun. Uh, I like to say thank you to the people watching abroad. So, uh, and people who I couldn't say hi to, Paeng, Patuigas uh, uh, is in Cebu, Jerome John Hughes from uh, Vegas, Eric Chum is watching. Uh, sino pa ba yung mga na dyan na hindi? Uy, Bian Bautista. May mga artista ba? Si Jana Victoria na noon. Oh my God, ang dami. Jojo Gingona. Uh, I'm saying hi to people now kasi Uh, Lali Hidalgo is watching also. Sino pa ba mga nandito na hindi ko nabate? Gusto ko nang batiin kayo because you know what? Uy! Karel! Si Karel! Nanonood si Kay! Oh my God! Thank you! I love you guys! Uh, thank you! Oh my God! Ang daming tao nanonood biglang. Hayop kayo nung umalis si Pia. <laughs> Nag-drop ang audience ko. <laughs> I will forgive you because it's true. Lipat na tayo dun sa show niya. She's going to start in a few minutes. I have to give her a few minutes to change and prepare kasi kailangan mag-connect rin siya. But thank you for guys for watching. Ay, Jojo, late ka dumating. Ang ganda ng Q&A namin. Sorry, Jo. Uh, pabuli mo na lang si Pia dun sa uh, Queen to Han Pride. Yan, magsistreaming siya sa Facebook. Oliver Bata, namimiss ka na daw namin. Pwede ba dumalaw ka dito kung wala kang positive ano, at papakainin ka namin? Marami na kaming bagong putahin ngayon, Oliver Bata. Yan po, Sandra Ignacio. Naku, ang mga nanonood, mayayaman. Sandra Ignacio, mayaman ho yung babaeng yan. Avi Violan, thank you for joining again. Uh, who else is here? Uh, oh my God, I'm so confused. I can't, ano, ang daming nasa ano ko ngayon. I have two Facebook pages, uh, that I'm looking at, and thank you. Okay, I will let you go. Nikita, naku, ba't ka nandiyan ka na naman? Nikita, late ka. Nik Nikita, pwede ba, pwede ba i-guess kita one time? Nag-guess ka na kay, Ma kay, ano, kay uh, Mirsa. So I want to talk about also what you've been doing now. Okay, yan na po mga kaibigan. I will say goodbye and thank you. And again, uh, please be good to everybody because at the end of the day, is night. <laughs> Bangit. O sige na, mag-goodbye na ako. Lipa tayo kay Pia ngayon sa Queen to One Pride. Bye, guys! Bye.